Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as Duke Arnold Sudsnegger of Steiermark. And so yeah, we're currently at war with Italy to make them our tributary, to make them our little bitch and pay some ducats because we like that. And wow, we're actually losing money while we're at war. Alright, very expensive to pay off the troops, but alright. I guess you guys, if you don't... I guess we're going to go for Modena. I thought we kind of split up, but no. These guys are just not... They don't know what to do. They're like, oh my god. Um, but yeah, oh well. I'm just going to go here, siege it down, quickly. Hopefully we're not going to take too much attrition. That would suck. And Burgundy, what are you doing? Who are you fighting? Uh, Byzantine Holy War from Mesopotamia. So Lothering and Burgundy and Byzantines are fighting. Ooh. Interesting. Who are you fighting again? Uh, this guy. Okay, well, he's very small. If the Abbasids do not join, then you should probably be uh, able to win. So we're back to making a little bit of cash. Very happy about this. And we've built barracks. Lovely. Let's build uh, mil militia training ground. Do we actually... Why, do we, why can't we build this? We need... Oh, keep. We need improved keeps. Ah, should have done that when I had the chance. But oh well. He's raising up some more men. Problem if I if I move my men, my allies are gonna join or move with me, which is kind of annoying. I'd rather avoid that. But oh, and uh, good news: this guy died. The uh, old fifty-year-old wounded guy. He actually died. After a period of illness. Oh yeah, he was ill, uh, whatever. And now his 18-year-old son, which is very good. Because that means we're going to get uh, a long tributary. At least, I think we're going to have a longer-lasting tributary. Anyway, um, Piemont is going to inherit. Ooh, how's Piemont? Interesting. French, all French here. That's uh, kind of a weird thing. And Amalfi is a... No, they're just walking around. Okay, never mind. And actually fighting. And he has some forces now. Okay. And he, uh, my son wants to be... Yeah, he's, it suits his position. He's my third son. So yeah, he should be content with whatever he gets. Shouldn't complain about anything. Alright. Attack in Cremona. Probably gonna cross a river. Potentially. It doesn't matter. No, we didn't. Alright, just crush his forces. Uh, we did... And go over kill these guys. And afterwards we can go and siege more people in Modena. Problem is these guys are just following me. They're not doing anything on their own. Which it, in a sense is good. But it's also bad. Because I know I can win all these battles on my own. Perhaps I should just let my guys stand down. But then I would probably never uh, over with this war. That would be annoying as well. Come on. I guess what I'm going to do, I'm going to siege these two estates as well. And then I'm just going to leave it to my vassals, really. I'm not interested in fighting this any longer. I don't want to commit my troops to this. Problem is, if I go home, will they go home as well? It's possible. And he's count... He's... Called an account. Of Ingria. The Count of Ingria, everyone. Oh my god. Shiver in fear. And he's raised another 156 men. Frightening. At least we're gonna get some cash out of this. Which is nice. Do we have anyone imprisoned? Anyone important? No. I still wanna kill that dude. It's not gonna happen though. Might as well stop this plot before we get discovered. That would be terrible. Should we play this alone? It would definitely make people more happy. But that also means I have no cash. No security cash. Which would suck. I mean, I, of course, then I could at least take a loan again, but what's the point? Paying and repaying a loan, you only lo you always lose 50 ducats. So it doesn't really make sense to do that. Come on. Alright, we see shit. Now he's actually doing something on his own. Oh, actually, or is he not? Yeah, he's not. Alright. 52% only. Not cool. Uh, how many men? Is that less? 
Actually, yes. Take that freaking shitty castle. Uh, yeah, that should go quick. I don't want her to be arbitrary. It's the strap for her. Yep, sorry, lady. Sorry, my uh, strong and attractive Arnalda, but don't want you to be arbitrary. So this should go quick. One dude keeping the city. Yeah, well, we just took the city, who was def uh, which was defended by one dude. Literally one dude. It's not gonna reinforce at all. Because his marshal's terrible. Yeah, he's a two marshal guy. That really sucks. Gotta step up his game. And uh, what are you what are you fighting? Burgundian civil war for elective monarchy. Sure, I'll join. Otherwise, I'll lose 100 prestige, which I'm not interested in. And all of, look at these. I hate that. All the callings always join each other. Damn it. Stop it. Don't do it. So this is actually taking much longer than I expected. Although, I think it's still less than what Parma would be, because that's uh, 1,200. Whereas this is only 800. Still taking painfully low, painfully long. He's really, his country's been ravaged. Uh, now Ingria is coming with 800 men. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that's actually more forces than I would have expected. Not that they're really gonna matter, but interesting. If he actually rallies his men, he can put up a fight. Hopefully that will end the war faster once I won that fight. Um, Michael, you're gonna be my court chaplain. Improve relations with the Pope again. It's the only useful thing I can really do at the moment. Uh, beat some respect. Um, yeah. No, I don't want to beat my kid. No, I'm. I don't. Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't really. It doesn't really matter. He's not my firstborn son. He's never gonna rule. He just needs to be a good commander. And he's apparently being attacked by Venice. War for the city of Polisene. Good job. Now we're gonna go over there and kick his butt. Wow, this is taking forever. And it's probably not even worth it at all. And, uh, yeah, whatever. As it, again, I don't really care about my kids too much. At least not the third and fifth in line, because... Oh, well, oh, now he's taking my war score, damn it. Don't do that. And I know what he wants to do. He wants to retake his war... Stuff. How many men are here? This is... 900 okay let's go back to Genoa he's gonna retake it I can feel it in my guts now with Byzantium over here as well West Francia is standing strong I like that one of the callings who consolidates his forces he's strong a stutter his son seems like a cool guy Prince Louis he actually uh yeah, he did not see the castle, which is good. Oh my god. This is dragging on. And now even Venice is doing some shit. They just want to take a city, but still, it's annoying. It's funny that all, even though he has all of his allies called, they only have 7,000... Okay, actually, they have a little bit more with Byzantium, but that will take a while. Who are those guys? Who is he? What? Why is Brest in here? Whatever. He actually has a lot of men. I'm surprised. They have well, okay, they have more force than I do, but they they probably need a while to get them all together. Um, but yeah, Byzantium's dropping off a lot of people. As he should. I mean, he's the uh, only emperor we have right now. The ca well, he's not Catholic, but Christian emperor anyway. Although with all my tributaries, I'm also quite a force to be reckoned with, I'd say. But they can all die, and then I lose all my power. I should really save up more money. Uh, more money. I mean, this is this is not enough. Truly, not enough. We need castle walls too, and for that we need improved keeps. 
Yeah, let's do that. And, uh, yeah, I want my daughter to be ambitious. That's fine. She's not going to do anything anyways. So, yeah, do castle walls, and then we can do castle town. It will help out a lot, hopefully. Perhaps not a lot, but it will help out somewhat. Uh, he's just standing over there. Um, how about you go to Parma, or maybe even Mantua? Uh, let's go to Parma, and then to Cremona. Should be good. Sieging Treviso for me. Good guy. 100% on the revolt, but my war is only at 83% for now. Ugh. 90%. Come on. Called an Ingria, who's already imprisoned by the Doge of Venice. So we're currently sieging Pavia as well as Cremona. Our allies are besieging Cremona. And uh, my... Ooh, we have a granddaughter now. Actually, the second one. She's a hunchback. Uh, Alright. Great. And she died. My daughter in like, Damn it! That was the plan. Why are you all dying? Fine, we can marry again. Duchess of Berry. Actually. Wasn't she... Some duchess? No, she wasn't. But he's the king of Bulgaria? Does that mean anything? No. Alright, never mind. She was not use useful. Alright, marry someone else. Uh, the Duchess of Berry. Hmm, Princess of Georgia. No. I really don't know who to marry. Hmm, genius one. But she's only five. Upper Burgundy. No. They're all not that useful. No, I'm gonna wait for now. He doesn't have a son yet, which is... Alright, I guess. But, ooh! She does have claims, though. She has claims. Inherited all of these claims. They're weak. They're gonna go away. But she has a weak claim on Duchy of Spoleto. That is actually cool. I could... I could actually... Declare war for my granddaughter. All right, we're probably gonna actually no, we can't do that. We have a truce, probably. Whatever. We'll uh, we'll see if we can uh, make something happen. And this guy, wow, Qatar uprising. I don't want to live there. It looks painful. We could fight it barely with all of our troops. It would be costly though. Happy I don't have to do it. County of Galway for my wife. Why does she have a claim on Galway? She has claims everywhere, Jesus. I would love to do this. So much. But he has too many emperors. Uh, yeah, too many emperors. Too many allies. Which is a problem, of course. Come on, siege down the bloody gates and stuff. It's 800 defenders. Duke Unroch, the Scholar. Uh, what's this? Uh, I ignore that. Actually, what are you doing? Uh, authority. Medium Crown Authority. Um, I don't care. As long as I'm not the king, I don't care about Crown Authority too much. Um, I guess... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we can marry this guy, who's second in line, Evra, to... Right, he's matrilinearly accepting that. I will do that. Um, and he's second in line to the kingdom of Lotharingia. So that's very good. Clementia. Educate that child, please. Can I do it? I cannot. So Catherine, you'll do. Good job. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Alright, first of all, we're going to make this guy brave. Then, whoa, damn it. Oh, no, it's matrilinear. Right, that's what we wanted. Oh, gee. For a moment, I thought I did the wrong thing. Yeah, matrilinear, that's what we want. He's going to hopefully, eventually, inherit Lotharingia. And then, uh, from then on, there's going to be swords niggas over there. So now this guy just has to die. 13 years old. Come on. 
Diogenes. Come on, die. 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 Anyone wants to join me? 13%. We need to spy mask. The 91. He's not convinced. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. It's probably not gonna happen. Well, we'll see. Maybe, I mean, kids die all the time. He's already 13, but you know, who, who knows what happens? He might die. What do I know? Who can predict the future, right? Come on, this is bullcrap. Taking forever to fight this war. When did we declare this? Yeah, like three years ago. We're still fighting. Uh, DC just take forever. I guess it is kind of realistic, but it's annoying if you play it. Especially if the enemy if the enemy has armies, it's very nice, but if he doesn't have an army, then wars can really go on forever. Like forever. Um we have no so far not lost any of these guys. Come on! And then the problem is we'd have to fight um Venice. His four thousand men, or we could just give up, I guess. Not sure if we're gonna lose anything. I can't stop thinking Don't wanna hurt this guy no I'm not that I'm cruel but nah, I have to resist for the sake of my kids I guess all right come on hundred percent off of that piece thanks for the tributary now 4,000 men however nothing I'm really interested in fighting not really interested in fighting these guys. We'll see though. Yeah, so the name placement is not the best, but this guy is my tributary. Him. A king. Tributary. So we have two king ti king tier titles as our uh, tributaries, which is so fun. I like this a lot. Take an attrition here. Gotta get... Whoop, what the hell? Did I just move this guy? No, I didn't. Ugh. Alright, stand you down as soon as possible. Let the cash flow in. Hopefully Italy has some money. Otherwise it will be terrible. So let's see next month. Come on, 20 gold. Ah. Why, do, why do they always say that she has no reason to be proud? Am I humble? Damn it, I'm humble. Uh, Jesus will cure his sin. Did anything change? No, she's still proud. Yeah, I should have done that before as well. So come on, how much money we're we making? Really, only eight duckers? That's not really a change. But he's an ally, so that's good. He's at least an ally that we can always. He cannot refuse to join our wars. Um, he doesn't really have, particularly have any armies at the moment, but still, actually, he does. The one thousand men. That's not bad. If we wait a little bit, he might have more. We can raise 2,000. We might actually be able to claim somebody. Spoleto, as I said. And Tuscany, too. We could actually claim Tuscany for my wife. And that means Helferich would inherit. I think we have a truth with him. Alright, wife. Don't die. Don't you die on me. Yes. Oh, I actually didn't check. He might have good allies. Yes, the king of Bulgaria. Damn it. Oh well though, we have good allies too. Uh, tributary. Lotharingia. He's gonna join. Burgundy. Perhaps. Well, it always says maybe, even though it's pretty obvious that they're gonna join. And Great Moravia. Who's 54? But nonetheless, we're gonna call them in. The Might of Steiermark will crush down on Tuscany. Come on, everyone. 1,000, actually. Whoa. So Italy has... Yeah. So everyone is actually joining. That's very nice. And you know what? I think they can... I think they can handle that. Uh, what's this? A revolt. You should handle that, please. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna let, leave this to my allies. We'll see if that actually works out. Um... Fruitlessly scoring the countryside, you come upon a small cottage in the wilds. As you knock, an old crone opens. When she sees you and, uh, and your hunting party, she cackles eerily and sa says that she has a powerful potion, uh, 
powerful potion that will make you a stronger hunter, sure to catch any prey. Um, do you know what? Yeah, sell it to me. Five gold. Uh, you drink the potion down, see, soon you start to feel all warm inside. Of course, see, you know that this will make you stronger. I can see in your eyes. Now, go, great hunter. Return home, certain you believe next time you'll find your prey. Huh. So perhaps next time we find a white stag? I've been told that it's actually possible, yet I've never seen it myself. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Sufranka, signing off.